I rise today in support of my resolution, HRES 1152, to condemn the great replacement myth, which is a delusional white supremacist conspiracy theory. I'm honored to be joined by my co-leads, CBC Chairwoman Beatty, CHC Chairman Ruiz, KPAC Chairwoman Chu, LGBTQ Plus Equality Caucus Chairman Cicilline, CPC Chair Jayapal, Congressman Takano, Congressman Raskin, and Buffalo, New York's representative, Congressman Higgins. We are joined by more than 140 of our Democratic colleagues as original co-sponsors. On May 14th, a self-described white supremacist and anti-Semite drove more than 200 miles to Buffalo, New York, where he killed 10 people and injured three others, 11 of which were black. In a 180-page manifesto that he posted publicly online, he cites the great replacement myth as his motivation and cause to target black people. The great replacement myth is a racist, anti-Semitic, Islamophobic, xenophobic, nativist, and hateful lie. It's 2022 and black people are still being hunted down and killed in America. The same goes for every person of color, Jewish people, the LGBTQ plus community, and every marginalized person in this country. We remember the lives of Aaron Salter, Ruth Whitfield, Perley Young, Catherine Cat Massey, Hewitt Patterson, Celestine Cheney, Roberta Drury, Margus D. Morrison, Andre McNeil, and Geraldine Talley, all who should still be Gentlemen's here with time us has expired. Today. I yield the gentleman additional 30 seconds. Our nation is mourning and has been mourning since this country was founded. We cannot continue to carry on as if this hatred is an undeniable part of American culture and cannot change. We must combat white supremacy. I refuse to be complicit in this hatred because we have failed to take a stand as a nation. I urge my colleagues on both sides of the aisle to stand together and condemn this myth as the white supremacist conspiracy theory that it is and vote yes on the rule. Thank you and I yield back. Gentleman from Massachusetts Reserves. Gentlewoman from Minnesota. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Just 